Welcome to Esoteric Shit. Today we're joined by a very, very special guest. Phantom Organization all the way from Sweden. Hello, my friend. Hello, hello, guys. I still can't believe, I think this is a troll, but yes, hello, hello. Also known as the Violent Rapist. So he's joined the, the call as the violent rapist. So if you're seeing violent rapist every time he talks, that's that's not our addition. That's that's purely the Phantom organization. No, I think he was the villain in Flying Rhino Junior High. So something. So Phantom, you are. I'd probably call you an expert in degeneracy. Whether you actually oh, yes. partake in degeneracy or not, but you've certainly judged a lot of degeneracy, and I think that you've seen a lot of degeneracy, and you've. You've come to terms with a lot of degeneracy. So when I look at Catboy Cam, I see someone who's the epitome of all degeneracy. I mean, what are your thoughts on this Catboy Cammy man who, who, who like drenches himself in milk and then kid, who goes on these 24-7 live streams of him like swallowing dildos and like going on public transport and, and asking children if they can like take pictures of his feet. Like this guy is fucking degenerate as fuck. Yes, I, I would say the uh, most damning thing about Catboy Cami is the lolly shit and the pedo shit. Because there is like definitely something weird and fucky going on there. Everything else, I'm like, okay, whatever. But the, the fact that he has like a lolly poster. <laughs> the, the turbo yeah. degenerate is just like, okay, whatever. <laughs> yeah, but the, the pedo shit and then when he meets like little girls on chat roulette and whatever, it's like, what the fuck are you doing, dude? Curse and pedophiles die, they're not going to give a shit. They're just going to commit the crimes anyway. So, look, the the wait, died. are you excusing, are you excusing pedophiles and murderers and rapists, tell me John Michael me. Kelly? You, what the heck? Are you genuinely going to say to me now, John, that con men deserve to die in the same manner as a pedophile and a rapist? Like, do you want Nick Ricator to die like a pedophile and a rapist and hung from a tree, nailed to a tree? Ooh, that's a tempting question to answer. I'm going to hold off on that one, though. Hey, John, 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 you gotta come at me no, I'm well, not. by saying that I'm I'm defending Phantom. I've got many issues with Phantom. Like okay. many issues that I could level at Phantom. But I still know how to civilly behave in Phantom's own home. I'm not gonna take a steaming shit on Phantom Again, drugs. I don't I care about with the it. civil behavior and norm shit. Who gives a shit about that? I don't. It, it, Behaving like a civilized human being in somebody else's house is is, <laughs> is evil. Like, what is wrong with you? You live streams as people's homes. Do you live on the internet? Is this not Phantom's home that we're in? No, you know, I'm looking around my I'm environment. Not, he's got, he's got very nice stuff. wallpaper. Phantom's Dude. got extremely nice wallpaper on the walls there. You're taking the internet way too fucking seriously. seriously. Like, what? You're taking the internet way too fucking seriously. I don't I'm give a shit. I'm a serious shit. man, John. Here's this is my crusade, John. Eh? You do realize, John, if Phantom gets now, one strike, if Phantom strength. gets one strike, John, then he can't live stream anymore. He has to wait three months for the strike <gasps> to be lifted. I wish he would stop like involving children into these things, dude. Oh, but like, it's, it, 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 well, he's a predator. I mean, he can't stop, can he? Unless he's actually forced to stop by the law. It's just you know, he's just going to carry on going. It's just depraved. People like him should be shot and put into a shallow grave. They should be hung from the neck until dead. You know who we should have in the call? Who? Sean and Pampachu. That'll be an interesting call. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. That would indeed be interesting. Sean would spark the fuck out. Oh, yeah. Is there a way of getting him into the call? I'm actually kind of curious now. I wouldn't be in the call if he did. Well, um, does he know who I am, or...? Everyone knows who you are, Pampachu. Okay, okay. I, don't, I just want to make the, I just don't know, because I don't know what you guys talk about behind my back for the last 10 years. So, <laughs> like, why would you be behind my back? <laughs> yeah, I don't even know who you are yet. But No, we're talking about Sean, this guy. His mom died, and he's seeing angels and going to bed. 
Nickety do. Okay. Do you think what's his name could join the server? Rebel Foxy. Rebel Foxy hasn't talked to me in a while. He you know, he kind of blocked me and so did so did a uh, window. That's not Why nice of him. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm saying things that are making him nervous or uncomfortable, or they're just really think I'm going crazy. But uh. It's fine. Hmm. Oh, good girl. You like me to scratch, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> Ouch. Got it. I love being scratched. Thank you. Oh, yakey doochie pepper. So, if you started a pamper shoe convention, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's called a cult. <laughs> if you start a pamper shoe convention, <clears throat> what activities, what, what, uh, what, um, entertainment is there? Diaper pooping. Diaper pooping? Yeah. Live. Live. I'm the pam- diaper pooping. <laughs> The Parameter Look Like Contest, because I need stunt levels. Nice. <laughs> I have a good feeling about the diaper pooping. Yeah. And if you bring your bring if you bring a kid, you get fifty percent off fifty percent off your, your ticket. And a free buffet. I'm a, good, I'm a good girl. My dog loves being scratched. So, um, Dr. Barry came over yesterday. He's going to come back over on Monday. And he gave me his business card, Disposal Alternatives. Restorable diaper and soft toy recycling research, education, promotion, volunteer driving organization. I'm part of it. I got a big pile of I got a big pile of dirty baby diapers from. Oh, yeah, very nice. So these are our pre pooped diapers. Yeah, from the trash. We do we did recycling nice. together for many years, and I did research. This is recycling research, but on his card. But I I Pampershire Research Corporation, which covers a lot a lot of things. So these diapers some... that you find in the dumpster, they're baby poop diapers. What do you do yes. with them? Research. <clears throat> we figure out how to recycle them, oh. what, what they can be used for. Um, sometimes I like to wear them. Sometimes I like so to smell them. Diapers? Yeah. Okay, okay. All but right, I do right. research. I do lots of things with them. Lots and lots of things. But he did, he just dropped a big big couple bags off as a, as a kind gesture. <clears throat> and then I have another friend who's going to come over on uh, Monday and he's going to take them. The diapers? No. And what's the point? I'm doing research. <clears throat> oh, okay. Well, I, I mean, uh, I don't come. <laughs> it does if you have to. No, not in the baby diapers. I, I, I might wear them when I'm doing research. What? I don't understand the research though. What? What purpose? Does research. I do research. I'm a scientist. And so I'm. Sure I'm doing like scientist. I'm designing something, or I'm working on something. I'm researching things. I have been for 15, 16, let's see, 14 years, 20, you know. Yeah, I mean, I have a doctorate, so it's kind of you kind of lose track of what all you're doing. But this is a business card to get, you know what I mean? What, but what is, 
the purpose of wearing the diaper? Uh, it depends on what I'm researching. I might be re I might be researching uh, <clears throat> false claims or rashes caused by a company's diaper. <laughs> that was years ago when they complained about Pampers causing rashes. And uh, well, I just did the same di same thing myself and going, nope, <laughs> wasn't Pampers that did it. It was you. <laughs> and they got in trouble. <laughs> Pampers turned into a bad company recently, but they're trying to get better. Remember, they're not a single person, but uh, they they did some bad stuff the last ten years, and <clears throat> that's why their diapers are the worst on the market. They can't get raw materials, and they can't get customer back customers back. And <clears throat> they used to be one of the better ones. They were, but uh, I love wearing vintage diapers. I have lots of vintage baby diapers, and. <clears throat> Put them on and use them. And I know all about the history, of all about the technology, every single patent, every single feature, every single design flaw and company mistake. Are you gonna, are you designing new diapers? Yeah, I used to. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, that's why that's why I did throughout my twenties. Uh, and um, cool. So I have diaper tapes that I, I did a lot of work scanning all the artwork from old diapers and they're on the internet and you can just download them and put, you can print them out or just have a copy. Um, so like, nice. yeah. And I work closely with the uh, AD universe and, and some other companies out there. Um, race car diapers. Remember that one? Yeah. He, he's out of business now, but he was, he, he, he did something he shouldn't do, and what got him in trouble was the way he was selling selling the pictures and diapers. Uh, what, what pictures? Oh, the... he was taking pictures of kids in diapers, like ten year olds models, and he was putting them in a little binder and selling them with the diapers. And you can you can get these pictures based on prescription for the diapers, but the thing was. What made it illegal was the way it was being sold. Right. And he, I think he got in trouble years later. Oh, I might have to poop my diaper. <laughs> oh, I heard that. I heard that. Oh, dude, can you poop? Can you, like, film yourself pooping? Dude, <laughs> I'm not going to film so myself hot. pooping. Please. Please. <laughs> no, I don't do that. I don't do that. It looks like... Just, just close your eyes and I'm thinking of Pamper Chew pooping. I want to see pooping. <laughs> think, just think of me in the blue bunny suit. I'm actually wearing a gray mouse costume. So, uh, do you poop in the toilet ever? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, if Sean's over, I'll, I'll usually go in my diaper, and sometimes I'll just go in my diaper when I'm by myself. Sometimes I just go in the toilet. Sometimes I'll just <clears throat> go into an already wet diaper on the floor, that way I don't have to use the toilet water. You know, I can just uh, just squat over a already used diaper. Um, and that way it saves a little bit of water. Yeah, it's good that people are saving water. That's good. Oh well, it, all, it makes me more happy that I'm just using the diaper and rolling it up in the diaper. So, so you roll up the poo poo in the diaper. Do you throw it <laughs> yeah. out after? Well, yeah, because I have a bucket of diapers. You know, in the changing room, there's a bucket. A, it's a Home Depot bucket, a five gallon bucket. And sometimes I'll just take, unwrap a wet one and just go into the diaper, and then I then that way I don't have to smear it all over. 
And I can clean. Yeah. I can clean with with one baby wipe or less. Oh, so when you poop your on your di in your diaper, you just clean with one baby baby wipe after. Yeah, well, I'm, I don't know what you're trying to ask here. If no, I'm, I'm just sitting in it, it takes more. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Obviously. But if I'm on a toilet, it takes know. one, just one usually. Okay. Yeah, and it actually, um, pooping like that's supposed to be like more natural, or you know, you know, you're not sitting in a toilet, but you're squatting, like they have in a lot of countries where they they like squat over a hole in the floor. Yeah. Yeah. So it's kind of like that, and so it, it does it does help sometimes with your stomach and stuff. Um, do you ever like wear a diaper and like come? No. <clears throat> okay, it's yeah. happened, but that's not my goal, and I don't do that. How did that happen? <laughs> what do you mean? How did it happen? Like how how did you come in the diaper? Did you get stimulated? No. And uh, how did you come? Gotta go. <laughs> how 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 do you how do you come? <laughs> I come by getting out my flashlight connected to my VR headset and like a milking <laughs> machine. Ew. Okay. And I load <laughs> I load the VR porn with buff furry characters. <laughs> I'll pass so on that one. I don't. I don't. I don't use any fancy equipment. I just use really expensive, really expensive hardware. Old stuff. What? Oh, what kind of stuff? Computers. Computers. Computers make you come. <laughs> oh yeah, that's uh, yes, they do. How? Oh, the child porn and feet and diapers and computers showing you pictures. It shows you child porn? <laughs> YouTube Dude. does sometimes. YouTube Dude. did before. <laughs> Dude, child porn is illegal. Oh, you don't worry. <laughs> That's just what we call it, but it's not that. It's not that. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, no, no. Because there's, there's some. Well, it doesn't matter. That's just a word I like to use. <laughs> Make a joke, like a joke. Oh yeah, but, yeah. Uh, look, looking at kids' feet. Like if I'm watching kids' feet, because it makes me, it makes me happy to watch. Is that child porn? Eh, no, not really. But it's doing the same thing. So I love kids' yeah. feet. And kids in diapers. Little, little children feet? Yeah. They're cute. And I always wondered what they smell like. But they probably just smell like everyone else's feet. But they're kids' feet. So they're little. And, there's, and they're little. <laughs> what happened here? Are we still on uh, here? Okay. You're still here. All right. Uh, Cinder left the VC. He's probably going to be back. He's had he's having some connection issues. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Man, I'm I'm cooking a chicken right now, but it's like I think it's like a little bit expired. It smells a little oh. bad, but. Ah. Uh. <clears throat> Well, after you cook it, if you take a few bites and it doesn't taste good, don't eat it. Oh, no, it's fine now. It was just initially, it sounded, it smelled bad initially. It was covered okay. in some bad, foul-smelling goop. It's like a whole chicken. Oh. I, in, a yeah. in a can? Mm, well, kind of. Kind of. Okay. It was in a plastic wrap, but it, I, I'm guessing okay. it's the same kind of, yeah. It's, uh, I, need, I need to cook it now. 
need to make some uh, soup meat. Okay. I'll just keep it in the oven. Gonna cook it. Hmm. What do you eat? You you eat Taco Bell. You said that. I had Taco Bell today, and last night I had bre I made breadsticks with bubbly pizzas and bubbly sauce. I made it, and you put butter on the pizza, and you cut it in strips, put it in the oven. Um, I have a deep fryer, so I can cook uh, French fries and uh, um, mozzarella sticks. Like it's a real deep fryer, not air fryer. It's it's oil, big big pot of oil. I know, I know what that is. It's like, yeah, yeah. Thing that goes, yeah. It's what makes food taste good. Where an air fryer is just a, a kitchen gimmick. Hey, it is. It's the same thing as an it's it's, 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 same thing as an oven. Ovens that have no, the little circulating not. fan. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. It, it'll do it just as well as the oven will. It's magic. <laughs> no, it's just magic. Yes. <laughs> it's magic. Okay, I'm gonna be right back. So I can. I'll be right back. All right. Then I'll tell you afterwards what I did. What a great guy. What a great guy. He's anti-air fryer. I know, but everything else he said was like really awesome. <laughs> so honest. I wish I could be like that. But what I watch. If only we all could guys. come clean. I look at straight porn. <gasps> Missionary position. Really? Cream pie. Yeah. Not even blacked. I look for like white male, white female. I know. I'm a disgrace. I'm a fucking disgrace, guys. You're not even watching blacked gay threesome BBC porn. <laughs> not I I know. I'm a I'm a you don't think I feel ashamed? Well, I would be. I don't know how you sleep at night. I don't. I lay awake, jacking off. <laughs> All night. Big Get up, up raw in the morning. Fucking raw. Oh, fuck. No, Back no, now. No, no. Okay. Hey. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I used the toilet a huge only too. Uh chicken slime usually stinks before the chicken itself goes bad. Oh, okay, that's good. That's good. Because the chicken didn't smell bad, but the slime did. Yeah, you're like you're you're close, but it, the chicken should still be okay. Yeah, it's like oh, it's on the brink, bro. Bro. It's on the brink. I'm making a, a cardboard box thing for my cat right now. A cat box or scratcher pad? Uh, just a cat box for her sleepy, sleepy times. Oh, okay. Go, go, nose. No. There goes another kilowatt. <sighs> 
There's something so sexy about cardboard boxes. Mm. I like the plastic kind. Plastic cardboard is corrugated plastic. We used to use them at work in the clean room. It's just, it's the same same uh, manufacturing process as cardboard is, except it's just plastic. Nice. So that way, there's no dust particles. Computer chips don't like dust particles when they're being made. You're good at computers, aren't you? Yeah, old stuff. Yeah. So, if I were to hide something on a hard drive, how would I do that? Hide it on the hard drive or in the hard drive? Are you, are you talking about hiding drugs inside of a hard drive so you can get across the border? <laughs> or are you talking about... So- are you ta- are you ta- oh, are you ta- well, uh, okay, so you were talking about hiding something. Or, or, how do you I mean, want it? No, no, I mean, uh, like a thing in, like, you know, uh, software. Software. Oh, okay, software. How do you hide it on there? I don't know. Just leave it in plain sight. But, uh... There used to be tools for encryption, but now it now it's just you know, uh, it's just I I can't give you any recommendations because it's a, <laughs> kind of a secret. But um, you know, just keep things out of. What do you use? You know, well, what do you I, use? I don't I don't use anything anymore. I haven't had a computer in front of me for years. I work with the old stuff, like uh, I have lots of old old stuff. I restore. Well, we used to have something called TrueCrypt. That that was kind of cool, but it's not a, it's not available anymore. That's what the FBI uses used back then, and we used it too. And um, you know, Tor used to be something cool, but it's, there's not really anything left on Tor. Yeah. It's all, it's all federal people using it, pretty much. You can buy drugs, you can do this or that. And it's just not really a thing anymore. As long as you're not doing anything, you know, out in the open and right in front of people, or, you know, just don't don't tell anybody. That's the best advice I can give you. Just, just, just keep it in a folder, and you, know, you can put it on a flash drive, keep the flash drive in a safe. That's, that's the best thing you can do. If you're trying to hide some data, put it, put it in a safe. A locked safe. My dog okay. smells like gingerbread. Mm-hmm. A safety deposit box would be even better. I don't know what you're trying to hide, but I tr- I'll treat Bitcoin the same as I treat child porn. <laughs> if you're trying to hide oh. new money, or you're trying to hide child porn, it's the same thing. You put it in the same hard drive, because either, either, either way, <laughs> you know, you put it in a safety deposit box in a safe place with all your other documents. That's the best way to hide something. It's secure. It's private. It's not. It's in a place that no one should be looking around. You know, put it with your other important documents, things that are, you know, you know, security, high security. That's the best way I can. That's the best way I can describe it. You know, uh, safety deposit box is only like forty dollars a year for the tiny one. You could probably get a smaller one, and you can you can put your hard drive, keep your backups on there, keep your backups. But you put everything, you know, your banking information, all your Bitcoin, all your whatever, cryptocurrency, whatever, you know, you put your handgun in there. No, I don't care. Just, <laughs> you know, you, you put it in a, in a safe spot somewhere, you know, where people shouldn't be looking and it's safe. But yeah. Um, but yeah, if you, if you treat data like it doesn't matter what the data is, this data could be very, very expensive to replace. Very, very expensive to replace. <clears throat> this data could get you in big trouble. <laughs> But it depends on what you're doing and how you do it. And I do it correctly, and I'm, I don't get in trouble. But um, <laughs> I keep my data safe. I've never lost a file. I've never lost any Bitcoin. So that's the best advice I could give. Okay. Oh. Thanks for the advice. Okay. Yeah. A safe or a safety deposit box is a little more professional, but that way it's that way it's off site. Thank <laughs> you.
Cinder sounds like a girl when he's playing with his dog. Yeah, he does that a lot. Yeah. Sounds like such a girl. Sounds like a little sissy. Mm. Where's my money, Axel? Uh -oh. Oh, no. Where's my money, Axel? I told you, I don't have it. I would... Okay. <sighs> Did you read my message, Axel? So... Uh, nope. Why, should I have? Yes. Oh, that's, that's a shame. Oh, well. You're an asshole. Yep. So renegade of you. I know. I'm not a paragon today. Not after what happened. What happened? Oh, I played some bad DLC in a video game. It made me go bad. Bad to the bone. Oh. Yeah. I think I'm, I'm, I'm thinking I'll get one of those child dolls. They're like they're life size child dolls. They're called cat dolls, and they're really cute. Yeah, I've seen those. They they are cute. Yeah. I think I'll get one of the boys, the the, the younger boy. Uh, I'm still thinking oh. about it. Yeah. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Is there any like particular reason why the boy model would? suit you better than a girl model oh because i like boys and um i just i want a boy like i want a child boy so i thought that that might probably be i have i have a stuffed animal Chuck E. cheese that kind of takes place of a kid i sleep with him and take care of him and carry him everywhere i go but you know one of the realistic ones i'm, I'm just so curious to see if the weight and feeling of the skin or or the way it looks might just be a little different Yeah, I, I don't want the butthole or anything. I just want the penis, <laughs> you know, and the feet, the little toes that move around, the, the fingers. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's my most um, important thing. Like the the penis, would it be able to get a boner and stuff? No, no, no. I just wanted to, you know, if I put diapers on it, I still want to, you know, touch his diaper and, and or see it. it. Just it looks autonomically, autonomically correct. And even little girls, children's dolls have the same things. So right, it's, right. And, and, but I don't need, I don't need the butthole option. <laughs> I'm not. It's not for having sex with. It's more for well, I mean, cuddling and touching kind of thing. Yeah, I know. Uh huh. 
So yeah, they only take money gram or money gram or something like that. And it comes to around fifteen hundred dollars. So uh I will get around to it. I'll well, I'll get one. Cheap. Yeah, I mean I thought I thought so. Hi. We're talking about we're talking about child sex doll. Otter. <laughs> there he is. We're talking about sex. Well, we're talking about the chat. Well, <laughs> we're talking about those little those those child like life like child dolls, and he called it a child sex doll. But yeah, you can use it for that. I mean, do you want to buy one? Yeah, I was gonna get one. Yeah. You know, I, mean, I can put it in diapers and dress it up in clothes and put shoes on there and go to sleep with them and talk to them and hold them. And you can probably it's the right amount of weight that makes you feel comfortable. Well, are you gonna buy it? Maybe, yeah, yeah. How much is it? Well, I think it's fifteen hundred. Pretty cheap. I'd get it if I were you. Yeah, I, I was thinking get about it, it myself. Can you send me the link? Um. This cat, the cat doll. Hold on, I think I got it right here. There we go. That button, that button. Uh, count login. There we go. Cat doll club. Let's go to the homepage. Oh, uh, I want you want the boy doll or the girl doll? Here, you can. The boy one. Okay. Copy. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me just um get to the search boy. Enter and then. Dang it. Okay, hold on. Maybe I can. Maybe I can. I just go to my shopping cart. Oh, damn it, it's empty. It just. Anyway, let me just send you a link. And they have. They have boys. A couple boys. Mostly girls. How do I send a link in here? Let's go like the. Do they have hermaphrodites? Um, no, but you can probably order that. Here, can I just put the. Where do you want me to put the link? Do you want me to send it directly to you or. Uh, sure. Uh, um, she's, uh, I'm, sh oh, there it goes. Okay. And you are the, the otter thingy. So click on the otter thingy. No. Uh, um, <clears throat> Thank you. Uh, I'm looking, I don't know where to put it. What do you mean to send the link? I know. How do I, how do I uh, contact you directly? And I open the chat. Or just send it oh. in pub in general chat. Send it in pub? Okay. I'll do that right now. Paste. Here we go. There, it's in pub. Thank you. Or, that works. Did they okay. deliver it from Japan or where? I think so. I think that, yeah, I think it's Jap from Japan. You got to use money or money, uh, money grams, money order to buy it. You can't just use your visa. So you have to you have to, you have to go to MoneyGram. I'm very happy about the cat box, by the way. If anyone's curious, I'm very happy about it. I like rats. Lab rats are my favorite. They're really tame. They just kind of sit there and they're cute. Oh, you're cute. <laughs> I'm a diaper lab rat. I get Do you the wear adult the... diapers or child diapers? Both. Right now I'm in. Uh, right... Right... Yeah, right now I'm in a small AB universe, which is an adult diaper, but it's a small one. And then I can also fit in like the pamper size sevens and stuff. But that's more. That's more of just a kind of a novelty, fun thing to do when I'm having fun. <clears throat> Like if I do meth, if I do some meth or some Adderall, I'll put on some baby diapers and I'll sit there in my baby diaper and I'll just be happy, so happy. What is your job, Pampered you? I have a lot. I have a lot. I have lots of jobs. I have a Pampered Research Corporation, but it covers many, many things, and I can't just give you one answer. But the last thing, I, last thing I, last time I worked for somebody else, I made robots that make computer chips at Lamb Research. Holy shit. 
I and then well, okay. Then my last paying job was Google, and I worked for, with them for for about eight years, and then I was terminated in 2019. 18, Why? Yeah, 2000. Um. Okay, so I have I'm a, I'm a famous person now, but I was doing videos for so many years, and um, and then one of my the last videos before I got terminated. I did that one video of recording. You might have, you might be able to find it on YouTube where it says I crave children. Oh, and, uh, yeah. And remember, I never said the word pedophile, but I used context so well that I that's my third time that I had that I had to change the rules on YouTube because uh, I'll do something and then they'll have to change the rules because of me. And this is the third time it happened. And this one's a big deal. This one's a big big deal because. I'm such a well-known person. People like me, but they—they're not just me. But they were overloading their servers and connecting things they shouldn't be connecting, and they're doing the deep learning things. And I'm wor- I'm working really hard and fast on some stuff. And uh, anyway, they they find it all, and yeah, they take terminate me with no cause, which means uh, if if they say why they did it, they would get in trouble. And so <laughs> it took a couple years. It took a couple years. That you notice how YouTube has been dumped and split. Like all the all the old YouTube videos are gone, and they made YouTube Kids, and I, I I'm only I only know the surface of this, and and some of the deeper stuff, but um, that's why YouTube is the way it is now, and Google has changed also because they were getting a little, um, yeah. So if you don't if you didn't use computers back in the 2010s or 2000s. And use the internet. You might not know about what is different now, but it's a lot different, especially if you've been doing work kind of like I have. So I just don't use a computer anymore. What I am um, nothing. I mean, right now I'm using a cell phone that's flip. Uh, it folds in half, but um, I got a VR headset to try and chat, and I got to chat with some eight-year-old kid the other day, the other day and that was. That was fun. Oh. oh. I'll come yeah. to the tank in a second. Yeah. We became friends. Right. Well, you know, like on the playground. What game did you play? Um... I don't know. Um, we kind of just hung out in this arcade room and we played things like whack-a-mole and skee-ball and um, air hockey. So we're just kind of like hanging out. He had me a few guns, but uh, but I didn't really do well, do well to pretend guns, so we went, to, we went to do some other stuff. But yeah, we had fun for a couple of hours. It's the future of of uh, communications. Why didn't you work at a school, Pampered Chew? I, well, I have. <laughs> Oregon Health Science University, Pampered Chew Research Corporation, um, I, International Telephone and Telegraph, which I didn't really work at. <laughs> I went to college there, but still, I mean, I did work too, teaching teaching people, so. And that's what I was like. That's when I was eighteen, nineteen. At ITT, and then uh, OHSU was between the ages of of three and eighteen, around there. I'm not a simple, simple, uh, average kind of life. I did all my work when I was young, and I got to do lots of really special, special work, and that gave me lots of lots of special education, <laughs> special education, um, things that no one else has ever done, and you know I got to do it, and I and I still keep doing that today. I like to beat world records. Uh, I love beating world records, but <laughs> do you know Shaughness? What's the name? Shaughness. Shaughness. I don't think so. 
Uh, no, he's just a diaper for who works at his school. Oh, okay. Oh, cool. Yeah, I went to I went to Montessori when I was a kid. To what? Um, I went to Franciscan Montessori Earth School. Yes. Do you hang yeah. out with kids in real life? Oh yeah, yeah. If I can, if I get a chance to, yeah, I love to. But like, do you <laughs> like actively do that? Well, I haven't done it in a few months, but yeah, when they come over, they come over. I hang out. Kids come over. Well, yeah, sometimes. Yeah. Do you touch them? I touch them, uh, not inappropriately. <laughs> yeah, but do you touch them on the genitals? No. <laughs> Why did they come over to hang out? Well, they seem to like me. I'm a. I mean, you guys like me. <laughs> well, kids, I like kids you. seem to really like. I don't know. Kids really seem to like me. Yeah, I like you. Why didn't you be a teacher? Honestly, I think you would be a good teacher. I'd love to do teaching. Yeah. So why don't you do it? Mm. Uh, well, I have in the past. So I just don't really have that opportunity right in this moment. But things will change, so hopefully. <laughs> Do the parents know that the children are coming over to you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and I don't know. They had to go back to school. It's a new school year, but um, I didn't really get to hang out with Makai this summer. And last summer, we hung out enough, though. And then all winter, he came over all winter. So and that's okay. I mean, yeah, once the parents start to when they talk about they talk about me, and then okay, don't go over there anymore. Just I'm not I'm not a dangerous person or anything. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Course not. The parents tell them not to come over. Well, that's what I—that's what I kind of understood. Yeah. Oh. So some of these parents around here aren't the best parents in the world, <laughs> and some are just fine. But um, you know, they get a little weird. They get weirded out when someone like me, you know, is hanging out with kids all day long. And like, well, I like playing. <laughs> Only people weren't so judgmental on this. Mm. What'd you say? If only people weren't so judgmental. Oh, yeah. And if they had more free time and, and they were a little bit looser with their kids, you know. Yeah. You know, some of the, some you know, some of these kids that hang out with me, like their their parents will just come and grab them and beat them right in front of me. I thought Why? that was inappropriate. Why? Because uh, they were hanging out with me. Because they because they were hanging out with me and talking to me. She spanked them. Give them drugs? No. Well, okay. Uh, I didn't give him any. He just came into my house and started lighting up my cigarettes for me. Okay, that's fine. Did you have methamphetamine in cigarettes? No, 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 no. It was just regular cigarettes. Uh, my fr the little 13-year-old, he, he came to my house, and he just grabbed my smokes and light went up and, and, then, and you know, lights it for me, which I thought was kind of cute. Wow, that's really cute. <laughs> but, yeah, then, yeah, then he wasn't allowed to come in the house, and then we just hung out outside for a while. But, yeah, it's okay. He wasn't smoking them. He just wanted a light one. Oh. <laughs> uh -huh. And uh, well, he tried to take a bottle of booze, but uh, I stopped him from doing that. I, uh, you know, he has this booze in his hand, and I'm like trying to grab it from him, and says, he says "I'm going to tell my dad." I said, "All right, let's go talk to him." <laughs> and then he hands it back because <laughs> because I'm touching him. I'm trying to grab the I'm trying to grab the booze out of his hand, and I'm trying to grab his shoulder. <laughs> and he's like, "I'm going to tell my dad," and I said, "Sure, let's go talk to him right now. Let's go down there right now. You're the one with the booze in your hand." <laughs> And so he just hands it back and smiles at me. <laughs> what happened? Did you tell his dad? No, no, no. <laughs> oh, good. I already met it. I already met his dad. But he was trying to, he was trying to take the bottle of booze, and uh, and he's thirteen, right? And I'm, I'm trying. I'm like trying to grab his shoulder, but not, I'm not trying to be too forceful because I'm trying to be 
you know, I don't want to be mean. I don't want to be, I don't want him to hate me. So. Yeah, I'm sure that they're just comfortable. And I said, okay, let's go talk to him right now. <laughs> well, come on, let's go. And then he changed his mind and gave, gave me the bottle of booze. And I put, I put it in the house and I came back outside and said, all right, now what do you want to do? Oh, no, I'm, I'm really good with kids. I'm not going to let them take my bottle of booze. And I'm not going to, I'm not going to let them narc on me either. <laughs> you know, you're the one that just stole booze. I'm not going to. You know who I am. Yeah, uh, he's the only one that really he's old enough to know. He's old enough to know that I like kids and he I I can tell he likes adults cuz he he hangs out with lots of like the adult men in the park. So He's a troll. Why didn't you kidnap him and keep him as a slave? Kidnap him. <laughs> he did hijack my car once, but it was playful. He playfully. Yeah, but I'm saying about. Yeah, he got in the car and said, slave. "Drive, bitch!" And I said, "Okay, fine." I started the car and where do you want to go? We just went down the street and back, and went right back into the house parking spot. And why not yeah, in some go. old shed and just tie him up and keep him there forever? Who wants to watch me have a shower? I, I put I put carpet in the shed so we can sit down and hang out in there. But uh, you know, you know, I don't think we ever we ever did that. But we did do diaper smashing once. I gave him a diaper and said, fill it up with water and then step on it and squish it. And then it splattered everywhere. And he thought that was fun. He wanted to do more. I said, no, you only get one. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's really cute. And do you still yeah. keep in contact with him? Oh, no, no. I mean, I don't have his phone number or anything, but I, if I see him once in a while, I haven't seen him in a You know, I haven't really seen him much lately. And, you know, the kids on the other side, down the other side of the street, I haven't seen much either. So, uh you know, they have their own lives and their own families and their own things going on. And sometimes their family just don't don't like them hanging around here. Well, why did you just take them? I <laughs> can't do that. Why not? Where, would I take, take where, where do I take them to? My house? <laughs> He's already basement, at my house. Yeah. Basement, I don't, I don't, yeah. <laughs> you guys, you guys are rough. <laughs> I don't do that. I would never do that. If I had a basement, though, and kids wanted to come into my basement and hang out, I'd be cool. So, time like, to you know, I, I'd be the supervision. You know, I'm I'm old enough to supervise. And if, if the kids want to go into my basement and they want to go diddle each other and, and and tease me, you know, that's it's perfectly fine. Uh, did you say diddle? Well, I don't know what kids do to with each other. I mean, when I was that age, I I think we that's what we kind of did once in a while. If you have a safe space to be in, like my house, yeah, kids might go down in the basement and like they do stuff with each other because they know they're in a safe place. They know if they have a problem, they can come right to me. And they know if there's a problem, I, I, I I'm good with the parents. I'm good with them. I'm the right person for the job. <laughs> I love kids hanging out, and I keep well, it under control. control. Their parents, and you take the kids, and you keep the kids. <laughs> Why would I do that? <laughs> I mean, if the parents the were abusing them, if the parents the were abusing them, I can do. I can. I, well, I can just call CPS. Yeah, but they're abusing them by not letting them talk to you, and they want to talk to you. Um, well, okay, those kids are a little young, but you no, know, they're like seven, five, uh, or seven, four. No, no. They're a lot younger. They're like um, under the age of ten. And then there's this one new kid. I, j- they just moved in. He's four, and his little sister's two. We got to have p- a picnic together. The family was really nice with me. I'm not sure they. Yeah, I mean, I'm not sure they were nice to me, and so I'll see him around. But yeah, so you can kill. Yeah, I, 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 I need to find some. I need to find some kids online. Some kids online that you know with their parents that want to come over and actually like hang out and be active pedophile parents. <laughs> you know. We, how you know, is that possible to find out? I don't like, know. That must be really challenging to find. Yeah, because the ones that are like me usually keep it private enough, and they don't just go out looking for more because they have what they need in their life that makes them happy. So why did you find a wife? I don't want a wife. I don't even want yeah, a but husband. She can, but she can give you the kid, and then you can kill her, and you can keep the kid. You, I have to stick my dick in it? Yeah. No, you can do sperm donation. I know. I was thinking, okay, so if I had some kids 
and they, so like I can ha- I can teach I, well I can I'm a teacher right so I can teach a young young girl or boy to do artificial insemination and they have to collect it from me and then they have to stick it in the girl <laughs> that way I'm not involved at all and there's no law that says children can't do these jobs I mean these jobs aren't dangerous they're actually really safe jobs it's not like working at Arby's where you might slice your hand off. <laughs> and there's places I know many children do these kind of jobs on farms and they should be able to do it in hospitals or at least in uh, research research facilities yeah but still you can get your own kids if you just impregnate a woman and then you can kill the woman after why don't I just take the kid and never come back I don't have to kill her. It's my baby. Because, yeah, but then she'll try to find you because she wants your baby back. She so have to kill her. No, you just. <laughs> she just died during childbirth. Yeah, so like you can have a home birth and then right to say, okay, birth you're to getting kill her. You're, I know you're joking. I think you're joking with me, and I'm trying to joke with you. <clears throat> why, why do you think I'm joking? I'm trying to help you. Because I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna put another five dead bodies on my resume. I already have like three. Oh, just one more. Nothing. Well, more. You have, wait, wait, wait. You have three dead bodies on your resume. How did that happen? Oh. <laughs> he lost control, Axel. It's not him. Uh, How do you? What happened with the three people? <laughs> Uh, just when I was a kid. <clears throat> I mean, I, I I was just using the number three, but when I was a kid, um, we were in some government building, and anyway, someone got shot in the room, and we left. Then we came back the next day with some friends, and we pulled the bodies out of the hospital, and 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 we just left them there. And we sat there and hung out for a while, and I'm like four or five years old, so and then and then we left. And then they cleaned up the bodies, and then we came back, and the hospital had new people and new staff. <laughs> this stuff really happens, and you know what? It might you might just think it's a story, but this does really happen. It really, really happens, but it's not really something everybody gets to know about. Maybe one in a one in a hundred million get to know about this kind of. Well, let's just say one in ten million. I'm just one of those kids. I, that? Do I what? Do you blame yourself for those deaths? No. No, no. I was just there helping clean up. Helping doing work. Or just learning on the job. I've been some really interesting Zero places. Five years old. Yeah, four, five, and six. I got to do some really interesting stuff. Like real hardcore government stuff. I've held moon rocks. Well, I've held a moon rock. Um and I was, I think, it must have been four when we stole that moon rock. Yeah. Where did you steal the moon rock from? All right, so there's this, like, um, kind of like a thing for kids to go look at moon rocks, and they have this big plastic container, and you put your hands in these gloves. You know, you put your hands in these gloves, and you can handle them, kind of. There's a little hammer in there. So what we and my grandpa did, we uh, took an exacto knife, and we cut one of the thumbs open, or one of the fingers open on the gloves. And then... We went in there and he grabbed a piece of it and he pulled his hands out and grabbed the rock, put it in his pocket, and he and we left. <clears throat> and uh, that that moon rock, well, we're government, so it's fine. That moon rock got put in a piece of acrylic. This ball, you know what acrylic is? Like the clear plastic. It's a big ball of acrylic with a little moon rock in the center. And uh, but I got to help. I got to hold that moon rock before it was put in acrylic. It's it's a display piece. And and um, so. Um, my grandpa and his mom worked in the government, and so did part of that family in here and there. And on my uh, dad's side, his dad did government work too. Like they printed money, they printed money, and uh, I even helped with some of the quality control <laughs> as a four-year-old. I always help, <laughs> but yeah, man, the meetings I've been to when I was a little kid. What do you think I get my confidence? <laughs> because I was the, the first time you ever see something as a kid, 
and it's the best they ever had. It's stuff that no one else ever has seen or had ever. Yeah. Early nineties, high government. I'm just hoping I can do something in the future. Cause yeah, I just want some kids, but yeah, I got to do all that fun stuff when I was a little kid and, I got cancer woman, when I was right? 24, and uh, that you have that to happened. impregnate the woman. I don't know. I don't like women that much. I mean, the girls are cute. Yeah, but you, you just know. impregnate them, and that's it. I don't want to stick my dick in their thingy. Do it for the kids. No, just give me one of yours. Cause yeah, cause I can't have my own kids, and and then I can't love my own kids the same way I could love someone else's kids. How much money Can would you, you buy my kid from me? For how much money? Mm. Is it a boy or a girl? How old? What boy. sex? Race? How's his one brain function? One year old? Why? Mm. Just one year old. How do you know what your brain functions? Oh, well, you can read those. Um, uh, is he is he autistic? No. Ah, uh, I see. Yeah. Well, you preferred if he was autistic. Can I rent? Can I rent him for a week? No, you have to what buy. What will you him. do to him in a week? What will you do to him in a week? It's like test driving a car. <laughs> yeah, but you can. What, what it's what a one-year-old. You, you can mold their brain. You can I know. Mold them and I, do whatever. I kind of want a two, a two or older. But um, if I had, uh, if I had someone else with me, yeah, I, I'd like to see what a one-year-old's like. But I already, I already kind of know what I'm. I've never you been around know. babies. I've never been around babies before. Ever. Ever. Yeah, so this is better. You can mold your brain and the reality. Mm. Yeah. I, I would like you to rent to a boy. How much? Mm. $20 a day. That's nothing. How about $20,000 a day? Mm. No, that's just too much. I'd run out of money in five days <laughs> or, or ten days. <laughs> Whoa, you have a hundred K? You're rich? I'm not rich. You have a hundred K cash? Uh, yeah, yeah. So you're rich? No. I can barely afford a house in Portland. <laughs> At least I own it, though. I bought a house. That was 90 K. And I got a little bit of money left over. So how do you make money? YouTube? I used to. I used to. Yeah, not anymore. No, no, no. This is a this is a inheritance. Why didn't you do drug dealing? Uh, I I don't deal drugs. I just use them. I, I would I would not. I don't deal drugs. I, I don't. You know, those are things you, I don't. Easy I don't money. care about my. I don't care about the clientele. You know, the customer. I, I really don't care about them. They're not they're not my type of people. I like meth, but I'm not the same person as you. And so they want to hang out and do meth. I'm like, nah, no, nah, just give me the meth. I'll talk. I have work to do. I have work to do, important things to think about. Drive around town, wherever they want to go, thrift stores, that kind of stuff. Would you buy a child for half a million dollars? <laughs> no, that's way too much. Yeah, but the child that you can... Do whatever you want with it. Look, it's like there's no property. child worth half a million dollars unless you rot, unless you like abduct him from some billionaire's house, and still they're just like. Bleh. So that's half a million dollars. Want, how much would you buy a child for? Oh, at most, um, at most, uh, ten thousand dollars. Drive a hard bargain, man. But you well, you know, and you know what? I think I think I can get them for cheaper than that. But if the, if it has a, if there's really an option to, you're selling guns, children, drugs. Oh, I'll take a child and some of those drugs. <laughs> Would you give the child some drugs? Oh well, yes, but that's that's my doctor side, and you know, what kind Would of drugs? Would you give a two-year-old math? Well, I had it at four, but no, two is a little young for that. 
But what if they're begging you, please, Pamper Chu, I want some methamphetamine. I, why would they beg me for that? They're too. They have more important things on their brain, like playing with toys and watching TV or or getting their diaper please, changed. Pamper Chu, I want methamphetamine. No, 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 no. But I mean, okay, when I was four and I tried it, I wasn't begging for it. Or maybe I was three or two. I don't remember. I just know I did it back then. How do you know? Eh, just some memories. I'm starting to load up and, you know, the people I knew and they gave me a glass of water and the water had meth in it. And, yeah. And is that the uncle which touched you? Hmm? Is that the person who touched you who gave you the methamphetamine? <laughs> um, actually, yeah, I'm not. Is, isn't he? Yeah, he is. I can't remember exactly who gave me the water, the drink of water. Yeah, because the guy who touched you. Yeah, but he must have. He must have gave it to me after he touched me, because if he gave it to me first, then I wouldn't get. Wouldn't be able to get hard. Because meth makes your penis small and doesn't get. But it feels so good, though. It feels so good. So. How does it meth feel like? Um. Oh. Oh well, it makes your brain a little sharper, and you get you get really giffy if you know what I'm saying. You, you like whatever turns you on, you get really into that. And so, like, I'll do electronics, computers, and and um, also like look at kids' feet and diapers. But I'll I'll be doing both at the same time, and I mix it all together, and that's what makes it research. And uh, I'll put on some. I'll, I, I'll pay twelve hundred dollars for a bag of vintage diapers. No, the diapers from the year nineteen ninety nine. That's twelve hundred dollars. I pull one out, I put it, I tape it on, and I'm really happy. I wanted these things since I was a little kid, and I never got to have them. I never got to have diapers when I was a kid, ever, ever. <laughs> and I wanted them so bad for so many years, and every single time, I missed the date. I missed the date. I missed the date. And now I have, you know, I, I got a little money because I got a job. Oh, the tape's coming off. What happened here? Oh, well, this is a failed diaper. Oh, bad diaper. It peeled off. Yeah, this is a bad batch. But, uh, yeah, yeah. I'll take you into my changing room in a moment. I'm going to finish the cigarette, though. Can you oh, see me? Naked. Wow. Mm. Yeah, the, wow. Um, the, the adhesive on the back side of the tape is coming off. Uh, not the tape that goes on the lander, but the tape that goes onto the, the wing on the back. It's peeling off like crazy, and I ordered a whole pallet of these things, and they're all kind of bad. And so I just have to put up with it. I know the I know the company owner. I don't want I don't want to give give him any flack. So I might I might see something if they're all bad after I use them. I would say these were all bad. I just want to let you know. Is the new pallet any good? Because I, I order them a pallet at a time. I don't, I don't like doing monthly bills or monthly this or that. I like doing yearly stuff. I, I pay by the year for my cell phone service. Pemberton, Pem you got to look at the Cinder's camera. He's showering naked. Oh. Okay. Well, do I do that now? Okay, let me look. When I was a kid, ever, ever, <laughs> and I wanted them so bad for so many years, and every single time I missed the date, I missed the date, I missed the date, and now I have, you know, I, I got a little money because I got a job. Oh, the tape's coming off. What happened here? Oh, well, this is a failed diaper. Oh, bad diaper. It peeled off. Yeah, this is a bad batch. But uh, yeah, yeah. I'll take you into my changing room in a moment. I'm going to finish the cigarette, though. Can you see, oh, man? Sir. Naked. Wow. Mm. Yeah, the, wow. Um, the the adhesive on the back side of the tape is coming off. Uh, not the tape that goes on the lander, but the tape that goes onto the, the wing on the back. It, it's peeling off like crazy, and I ordered a whole pallet of these things, and they're all kind of bad. And so I just have to put up with it. 
I know that I know the company owner. I don't want I don't want to give give him any flack. So. I might, I might say something. If they're all bad, after I use them, I would say, these were all bad. I just want to let you know. Is the new palette any good? Because I, I order a palette at a time. I don't, I don't like doing monthly bills or monthly this or that. I like doing yearly stuff. I, I pay by the year for my cell phone service. Temperature, you gotta look at the Cinder's camera. He's showering naked. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, do I do that now? Okay, let me look.